All right, everyone, the problem says express the following numbers in scientific notation. So we have four problems here, four numbers, and each of those numbers we are going to turn into scientific notation. So scientific notation is generally an easier way to write really big or really small numbers. And scientific notation is written as some number we will call m times 10 to the n power. So something times 10 to a power. And that first number that we're calling m, it must be 1 or greater and less than 10. So that's the format for scientific notation. And then regarding the exponent, if we have a positive exponent, that is because we are dealing with a big number or our actual number is greater than or equal to 10. So the number we're putting in scientific notation is a big number, something generally greater than 10. If our exponent is at negative, that means we have a small number where our actual number is less than one. So something like 0 0.0015 would be a small number. All right, so let's look at A. We have 0 0.00000027. So that is a small number. It is a lot smaller than one. So we're gonna have a negative exponent. So to write this in scientific notation, we need to move our decimal. And depending on how many times we move the decimal, that is going to determine what our exponent is or the value of it. And remember, scientific notation is written as m times 10 to the n power. So we move that decimal to get our m value that goes first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our decimal, which is right there. We're going to move it to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times to right there, because that gives us 2.7 for our m, or the first part of our scientific notation. And then we add times 10, and we moved the decimal eight places, so it's to the eighth power, and 0 0.000027 is a very small number, so our exponent needs to be negative. Okay, so 0 0.00000027 is the same thing as 2.7 times 10 to the negative eighth. Those are the same numbers. One's in scientific notation, one is in standard notation or decimal form. All right, now let's look at B. We have 356. So our decimal is right here. To get our M value that's in between one and 10, we're gonna need to move the decimal one, two places to right after the three, because that gives us 3.56. So the first part of our scientific notation, it is in between one and 10. And then we have the times 10. And what is our power of 10? Well, we moved the decimal two places. So the value is two. And our number here is 356. That's a big number. That number is bigger than 10. So we have a positive exponent. Okay, so for B, 356 is the same as 3.56 times 10 to the second. All right, on to C, 47,764. So here's our decimal right after the four. We're gonna move it one, two, three, four places to the left. So that gives us 4.776. Four, and then times 10 to the what power? Well, we moved it one, two, three, four places. So it is to the fourth power. And 47,764 is a big number, so our exponent stays positive. All right, so for C, 47,764 
is the same as 4.7764 times 10 to the fourth power. Okay, last one for question D. We have 0 0.096. So here is our decimal here. To get the first part of the scientific notation, we're going to move it one, two spots to the right. So we get 9.6. So let's write that out. 9.6 times 10. And what's our power? Well, we moved two places to the right. So our value is two. And 0 0.096, that is less than one. That's a small number. And for small numbers, we have negative exponents. All right, so for D, 0 0.096 is the same as writing 9.6 times 10 to the negative second. All right, there you have it, expressing the following numbers in scientific notation. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.